What's up Paladin? So this is just going to be an update video on what's been happening in the past week, basically the end of July. And I'm going to cover updates to the current patch, which is 7.2.5. But I'm also going to go over some things that are happening in the PTR, Public Test Realm, for patch 7.3 Argus. So first we're going to cover what happened earlier this week from Tuesday's maintenance on July 24th. For Protection Paladins, there was a 4% increase on the following abilities. Avenger Shield, Judgment, Hammer of Righteous, Blessed Hammer, Consecration, and Eye of Tear. For Retribution Paladins, Blade of Justice, Crusader Strike, and Zeal damage has all been increased by 10%. Also, from a previous hotfix from last Thursday, they fixed an error with Holy Paladin so that Light of Dawn now functions correctly with Aura of Sacrifice. Apparently it wasn't working, and now it is. Awesome. Now onto the PTR for patch 7.3, build 24651. There's a bunch of updates for Paladins. Remember that these are always changing and never final, so take it with a grain of salt, or something like that. For Protection Paladins, the 2-piece and 4-piece set bonuses of tier 21 armor are going to be changed. This isn't much of a surprise as I've previously reported in my tier 21 set bonus video from a few weeks ago. They haven't released the update just yet, they've just told us that they are updating it, so stay tuned. And on the subject of tier 21, Holy's 4 piece will also be changed. Again, not yet released what the change will be, just that it will be changed. So I'm going to hold off on the tier 21 set bonuses until they come out with the updates. Let's go over spell changes. For all Holy Paladin specs, Holy Protection and Retribution, Crusader Strike received a bit of a buff. The old formula was that you strike the target for 210% of weapon damage plus 0.429 times that amount but that 210% has been increased to 230%. That percentage has been increased by 20%. Execution Sentence has also been buffed, apparently. The old tooltip revealed that it used to deal 1,450% of your attack power in holy damage after 7 seconds, but that number has been increased to 1,700% of your attack power. Holy Paladin Core Passive increases damage and healing of Crusader Strike by 15%, but now that's been changed to 5%. Blade of Justice has been buffed a bit as well. It used to deal 540% of weapon damage, plus 0.400 of that weapon damage, but now that's been changed to 595% of the weapon damage times that amount. So, an increase of 55%. Damage and healing of Blade of Justice, Consecration, Crusader Strike, Eye for an Eye, Judgment, Justicar's Vengeance, Wake of Ashes, Zeal, has been increased from 20% to 27%. Also, the periodic damage of Execution Sentence and Wake of Ashes has been increased from 20% to 27%. Artifact Power. Looks like Righteous Blade and Wrath of the Ashbringer ranks have been slightly nerfed. Check out their rank breakdown below. In addition to that, I've done a little bit of research on a new faction coming out called Army of the Light. I've seen them around Argus doing the introductory quests on the PTR, but I still don't know much about them. Army of the Light is looking to be a new reputation faction that'll give daily world quests for you to complete. But my point is, it looks like a new mount was revealed called Lightforged Elec, and you apparently get it from an item called Gleaming Footlocker, which is a Paragon reputation reward with Army of the Light. In any sense, the mount is not yet listed as Paladin-specific mount, and I'm not sure if it actually will be. It looks like it's available to all classes currently, but as you know, Elecs are generally associated with Draenei and the Alliance. Will this be an Alliance-only mount is my question. Highlighting over the tooltip suggests that. So if that's the case, will there be a Horde equivalent? I guess time will tell. So that's all that I have to update on for today. I hope to be releasing uh, more Paladin update videos as time goes on and as we get more updates, so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be releasing some Argus-related, like World Quest type videos or locations of vendors, stuff like that, so you guys can also keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, but more importantly, if you like my channel, please subscribe to show some support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, and have a nice day.